Good afternoon from Barrow, Alaska. So we have a little change of plans today. We were gonna do the tour, but our friend Glenn gave us like a four hour tour yesterday afternoon. So we don't need to do the organized tour through the hotel, but I have heard that their tour is really amazing. They said they went to all the same places we did and we literally had like an archeologist telling us everything about the town. So yeah, <laughs> it was a special day. So now we're gonna head into the supermarket here called the Alaska Commercial Company, also known as the AC Store. traditional top that women in Alaska wear is the cuspuck and I've never gotten one as long as I've lived here. This one's beautiful. I really like that it has kind of like beading or embroidery on the edges. I think that's embroidery. As much as I want one, I've been thinking I might have one just made for me so I make sure it's the right size. There's a lady that a lot of my friends buy from I think I might do that. Well this store is more like a uh, Walmart. It has everything. Furniture, shoes and if you need a new ATV you can also get out here. People are very chatty here. Find out all the local gossip just hanging out. Yeah everybody has been gossiping with us and uh, we know all kinds of dirt so we're not gonna share that dirt but we've been hearing some dirt. I'm not sure if we've ever told you about pilot bread but it's like a cracker and it's like super shelf stable so it's very popular in Alaska for like remote cabins. It's not my favorite type of cracker, but it is totally edible. My favorite way to have pilot bread, I was introduced to it by my friend, and uh, she makes her own salmon salad with a delicious recipe that she was generous enough to share with me, and then you eat it on pilot bread. And when I worked at the clinic out there, she would bring it to me for lunch, and it was so good. <laughs> We're gonna make some quick rounds through this grocery store just to share some prices of uh, products in a very remote Alaskan village. 12 pack of soda is $12.95. Bag of Tostitos tortilla chips on sale for $10.74. How much is a one roll of toilet paper worth to you? Here, $2.60. That's not even the good stuff. Now this is fairly reasonably priced, I think. You can get a pack of condoms for $13. And it's a pleasure pack. Your choice. You can get Lucky Charms on sale for $8.51 or Fruit Loops for $9.73. How much do you pay for a gallon of milk? They pay $10 here. $16.82. $9.59 for a gallon of water. $2.89. Mac and cheese. 1.3 pounds of ground beef. $9.51. The avocados are $5 each. And for this particular tomato, just a little under $4. $2.99 a pound for banana. The grand finale of our grocery store tour, half of a watermelon for $37. Now it's time to head into the Inupiat Heritage Center. And right behind me is the skull of a bowhead whale. Oh wow, this is very well done. gonna head into the uh, crafts room and I'm gonna have to ask permission to uh, do some video in there before we just go barging on in but maybe we'll find some neat little treasures what you're looking at here are baleens there's whales that are filter feeders and certain whales have teeth like orcas and belugas but the bowhead whales and a lot of the uh, humpbacks and grays and blue whales they are filter feeders so they feed on like plankton and krill and these right here are the Kind of part of the filter mechanism. This is made out of baleen as well. And this is a walrus tooth, polar bear claw, bearded seal claws, ivory earrings. So this is scrimshaw, also made out of baleen. And all the artwork is just etched into it. 
That was another highlight of this trip, if not the highlight. That was really cool. We got to meet some of the local hunters and also met Van. He's a uh, actual captain of a whaling boat. And uh, then we found something for you. So a man named Jimmy, I'm gonna insert the picture right here. He made some scrimshaw on a chunk of baleen. We're gonna have to think up of a really good question for you guys, for whoever wants to win this baleen prize. I also forgot to tell you that Van invited me to come up and be a uh, helper when they do their uh, whale hunting harvest. So that right there would be an amazing experience. So I'm gonna have to find some time in spring or uh, fall to fly up here and participate in one of their whaling harvests. Since we're not taking the tour, we actually have quite a bit of time to kill here, but sadly there's also not a whole heck of a lot to do here if you don't have like a four wheeler to go exploring the uh, country out here. But we're going to head on down to the beach here and then work our way over to the whalebone arch. Four wheelers are definitely the uh, preferred means of getting around in uh, these villages. And uh, this is a pretty nice beach that you can just run up and down on and do whatever you really want to. This camera just crashed and I thought I lost all the data from today, but we're back in business. just wrap this video up unless something really awesome happens on the uh, ride home not like you haven't seen the yeah highway not like we already. haven't shown you the Seward Highway yet so hey thanks for joining us be sure to like comment subscribe share with your friends and most importantly enjoy the ride